Well, we begin with a major employer in the Metro East telling us he's feeling the fallout from the auto workers strike. The power of two's Christian Ye is in Granite City where jobs could be on the line. We are just outside of US Steel. The company is significantly reducing operations here, at least temporarily, citing a softening demand for steel products in the auto industry because of the ongoing UAW strike. The move could lead to layoffs here, although a company spokesperson telling me this morning that the details are still being worked out. We can show you past video from this plant, a statement from US Steel saying that it is idling blast furnace B at the facility here, and that is the only furnace currently operating at this location. Dan Simmons, the president of United Steelworkers Local 1899, the union representing most of the 1,450 people working here, calls blast furnace B the primary operation at this plant. Simmons tells us he plans to meet with U.S. Steel to discuss a layoff minimization plan, but he believes about 300 workers could be impacted by the idling. The UAW strike against the big three automakers began last week. Striking workers in Wentzville are getting support from workers at Kansas City auto plants. They came to Wentzville to join the picket lines. U.S. Steel issuing a statement reading in part. Following the announcement of UAW strike actions, we are executing our risk mitigation plan to ensure our melt capacity is balanced with our order book. As a result, we have decided to temporarily idle blast furnace B at Granite City and are reallocating volumes as needed to other domestic facilities to meet customer demand. We talked with a worker here this morning who was stunned to hear about potential layoffs. Kind of quick, quick to the draw the wanting to shut everything down like that. So, but all of us, we'll just wait, wait and see what happens. Like I said, they might sign a contract tonight or it might be a few more months. You know, depends on what the people up top want to do. There has been no impact or zero impact to the steel industry as of yet due to the strike. So I think that's just an attempt to, I don't know, possibly have, you know, workers looking negatively at the other workers, uh, pitting one against the other, which is baloney. The union president there, Dan Simmons, says he will try to find other jobs for impacted workers here to try and keep them employed. Congresswoman Nikki Budzinski, who represents this area, calls the decision by U.S. Steel an outrage. And Illinois Senator Dick Durbin is calling on U.S. Steel to reopen the blast furnace here as soon as possible. Reporting in Grand City, I'm Chris Fernier.